Hi, how to merge objects to create a new one? Let me show you a very simple way. Here I have an empty project. Let's add some game objects. Those will be an acorn, an oak and a rocket of course. This game object's gonna need box collider to detect mouse clicks. And also to detect collisions between each other, they will need a rigid body 2D. Set gravity scale to zero or they will fall down. Ok, one simple script helps us to make this all work. On mouse down is invoked when you press left mouse button over objects collider. That's why we need those colliders. Without collider it will not work. So when it happens, I kind of declare that I hold mouse button down, cause I'm gonna need some checking when I release it. Also here I calculate some offset between mouse position and center of the game object I'm going to drag. Without this offset, my game object will jump up to mouse pointer when I start to drag it. On mouse drag is invoked when I drag an object with mouse holding down left mouse button. Everything is pretty simple here. I get mouse position and set object's position to it using that offset. On mouse up is invoked when mouse button is released. When it happens, I tell the script that button is released and this condition is met. The main part of magic happens in onTriggerStay method, which is being invoked while game object's collider is overlapping another collider. So when it's happening, I have to get names of those overlapping game objects to be able to perform merge action or not to perform. So I get names here. Underscore divider, which I will add to objects names a bit later, will help me to get the part of the name I need. First part in this case, which will be acorn, oak or rocket. When names are obtained, I check if a button is released and names are equal to what I want them to. I instantiate a new oak or rocket depending on certain conditions. Prefabs will be loaded from the resources folder, which I will create in a moment. That's the script. I drag and drop this script to acorn, oak and rocket. To be able to instantiate game object, I need a prefab of it. And this prefab should be put into resources folder. So I create resources folder in assets folder. Be careful with resources folder's name. Just one typo will ruin the whole game. Once the folder is created, I drag and drop my game object into it, turning them into prefab. Now I have to rename each prefab, so the script can get the part of its name and load its prefab correctly. Adding underscore and object word will do the job. Nice. I can delete these game objects from hierarchy. Now I add an icon, duplicate it three times, spread them around the scene a bit. And now I can hit play to see how it works. I can drag each object and when I overlap them and release the bu- What the f- Ah, I forgot to set colliders to be triggers. Select my prefabs and check in is trigger option. Now I can hit play and see how it works. I can drag it and if I overlap them and release the button, a new game object is created. Beautiful. Hope you liked this tutorial, thank you for watching and see you next time.